G'day guys, JT here. Welcome back to the channel, JT's Funko Finds. So guys, today we are down at the Nexus Toy Fair. There's a heap of fun. Uh, it goes from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. and a heaps of goodies. So hopefully you enjoy the content I'll show you shortly. And uh, make sure if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys really soon with what we pick up from today's event. All right, see you guys. I can't wait for that um, soda to come out the mojo. Oh yeah. Love me some soda. What are these ones? Oh, cool. I've got some of them. Oh, I'll get them. Pack some of them with
Welcome back to the channel, JT's Funko Finds. So guys, as you saw, I hope you enjoyed that. I went down to the Nexus Toy Fair here in Perth today, April 17th, and uh, went down there, uh, got in early, was able to get a bit of footage for you guys before the crowd had set in, so that uh, I got that little exclusive jump in on, on most other people, which was really, really cool, because then I could show to you what was available down at the Nexus Fair here in Perth. But guys, there was a lot of amazing stuff. Like I could have spent so much money, but uh, I, I held tight. I've only picked up a couple of goodies, and uh, you would have seen probably from the early off the bat. I picked up these awesome little mystery minis. Now I think I've seen these before on the pop culture website, but I haven't been going to get them because to buy one I think is ten bucks, and then to ship it to Perth, you're adding another ten bucks on top. So. You know, for 20 bucks for, you know, I guess if you, you're going to get one, you're going to get a couple. I thought, I, I always held off on it. But then I saw them down there and I thought, yes, I really want to get these. Because look at the ones that you could potentially pull. So you've got a few really cool ones there on the back. You've got Fred Flintstone. You've got Yogi Bear. You've got Tom and Jerry. Daffy, da Daffy Duck. Um, I think you've also got... A quick draw and um, Dino or Dino is how you say it. So pretty much, I would like to get all of them. Uh, they are an amazing set, but what I'm really after is Fred Flintstone. I would love to get my hands on Fred Flintstone, and then um, probably Dino, and uh, I think Yogi Bear is pretty cute. But even that quick draw, it's one in seventy-two. I could put that with my um, uh, my sodas which would look really, really neat. But what I noticed, so I picked up four of these. So I've picked up two here that actually are a little bit different. So with this one here, now I'm not great with names because I think, just by looking at it, I think one, one is a Looney Tune, the other one is from the Jetsons, but I've gone blank on his name. But this run was exclusive to somewhere and the last three that you can see there are completely different to the other three from the previous box. So I think, you, yeah, I think it's a character, I think they're two from the Jetsons and I've gone blank on the dude's name from Looney Tunes, but um, they're the exclusives. So I noticed that when I got in the car, it had the exclusive thing on the box there. And then I, I looked on the back and I noticed that they were completely different to the three that was on the back of those three, on the back of this box. So, I didn't know at the time, I did, did just pluck out random assortment from the bottom of the case and the top. So these really could be anywhere. Some people say if you pull from the bottom at the back or the middle, you're probably bound to get one or more of the top exclusives. So, wish me luck, uh, because at the end of the day, I ended up getting two of the exclusives and two of just the normal. So, um, I'm not going to open them here on the channel, but what? Because pretty much me and my partner love to crack open the sodas, the mystery minis, uh, anything like that. Uh, pretty much in our downtime, so we've plucked four, so we've got two each that we can open. But I'm definitely going to show you guys the photo to here when I edit uh, tonight after we've opened them to show you what I got. So fingers crossed that what you see as popping up on the screen now is some of the ones that I was chasing. But hey, if not. This is a great little set. So if you can get your hands on them and you love that Hanna-Barbera line, then definitely pick these up because they are really, really, really neat. So we've got them. And then you would have seen um, a lot of other stuff. Oh, there was a lot of Wonder Woman stuff that just keep grabbing my eye, but a few of them were really priced high and I just was not gonna, you know, put my money out there for them. But my partner came across this one and this was getting sold by Collector Zone down there. 
Um, so there was other uh, store holders. So Titan was down there, Tap Out Collectibles, uh, Shumi was down there, and he is actually branching out and opening a few other stores in Perth. So congrats to those guys. They've obviously expanded their business, which is awesome. And um, I uh, yeah picked up this neat partner looked looked at it and said I want it. And she's not normally like that. She's more of a I'll think about it, I'll think about it. But she just saw this, she's like, yep, gotta have it, go get it for me. <laughs> so um, we have picked up the Leonardo and the 1962 Volkswagen bus. Now, uh, I guess a little unknown fact about me, my mum is a massive V-Dub fan. I am half German, so V-Dub runs in the blood in my family. And when I even saw this, I thought of her, but I have to get this one for uh, my partner's collection. Or the turtle line i must admit it's probably my collection too because i'm really loving the turtles uh, watching all the episodes from back late in the 80s but uh yeah i'm loving this so if they brought out leonardo i wouldn't be surprised soon if they're going to start bringing out like the other characters with other cars uh, or they're just going to bring out action figures to go with this bus i'm not sure but um, I know this is a new line that's done by Jada. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're slowly coming out with a lot more really cool action, um, I guess, animated cars and stuff. So we've got a couple of Bat Batman ones. So yeah, as soon as we saw this, this was uh, $49.99, I think it was, but I was pretty stoked. So I had to pick that up. Well, I had no choice. Had to pick it up for my partner, but we've got that now in the collection. And um, guys, if you noticed, I have got a Nexus Toy Fair uh, shirt on. Now this was made by a, um, a family member of Brent who runs the Nexus Toy Fair. She has a design business, so she is pumping out shirts, anything that can be also embroidered on, and um, I guess with these things as well. I'm gonna link to her website so you guys can check them out because if you want to get T-shirts done for your channels or um, and get your logo put on them, I know I'm gonna do it. So when um, I get a new logo together, which is uh, in the making at the moment, I'm gonna get them to actually embroider it onto the shirt. So then, you know, I've got a, got something with, I guess, my little branding on it, which I cannot wait to do. So head over to their channel, uh, their website. She does an amazing job with the t-shirts. She does them in women's sizing and men's, which is great because I first uh, reached out to her and just asked if they were like a unisex shirt. She's like, no, I can do them in the proper women's and men's fit. So if you want things that you want your uh, branding on, so like t-shirts, uh, I don't think she does stickers, but like um, I, there's a massive array. I'll chuck her photo of her page up here and I'll link her website in the description below. But yeah, guys, it was an amazing day down at Nexus. They broke records again. Uh, they're always breaking records at the moment, which is amazing. Uh, Brent is doing a fantastic job with that toy fair. He um, is just expanding and growing this toy fair. And the best part is that I think the next one, which is being held in July, uh, he is able, because COVID uh, restrictions are easing a lot more now in WA, that he can actually open it up to more stall holders and make it a lot more open and a lot more stalls to come in. So I think the next one he mentioned, he'll be able to get over 140 plus um, tables and stalls and, and promoting different businesses and things like that. So I cannot wait for that. But he did an amazing job again. They broke attendance records this year uh, for this uh, uh, month. So every event, they are always tracking how many people are coming through and he's broken the the, the record that they had standing before. So massive congrats down to the team of Nexus. You do an amazing job. I cannot wait to come down in July. Um, I may even actually be having a chat with Brent and I may have a stall down there next time. I'm in the thoughts and process of it. So we'll find out and, and decide, I guess, shortly whether I'll have a stand down there and just do something to either um, plug some pops, sell some stuff, maybe plug my channel a little bit. I'm not sure, it's just a, a thought process at the moment. But guys, they were my pickups from today. I hope you enjoyed the little clip while I was down there. And um, well guys, make sure you head on down to the July event, like their Facebook page so you can stay up to date as to when the details of that event is coming out. But like I say, 
Stay safe wherever you are. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. See you guys. Bye.